Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car, today with the 10th generation of the Civic, the most important model in the Honda lineup. Compared to the outgoing model, it might look a little less exciting, but instead it grew for about 30 centimeters, leaving the compact class with the Volkswagen Golf, the Ford Focus and the Opel Astra and heading for the mid-size sedan segment. If you want to know if you can really feel this growth and if the car drives better, join me on my test drive and I'll tell you more about it. The Civic will be offered with two types of petrol engines. A three-cylinder with only one liter of displacement and an impressive 129 horsepower or a 1.5 liter with almost 180 horsepower. Both engines are really revving up very fast, quite aggressive on the throttle. That's something I really like, but especially the small three-cylinder engine has got a not so nice sound, which is somehow rattling and queaky, and that's the bad side of the downsizing engines. While the car feels more solid and mature on the highway due to its longer wheelbase, on a curvy country road like that, it's the opposite. It's aggressive and it feels way more sporty due to the wider stance and the lower seating position. So it's really funny to go fast around the corner to push the car and to enjoy the power it delivers. From the outside, generation number 10 is less fancy than the outgoing model. You can even say it's a little boring now. But inside, it's a totally different thing. When you sit behind the wheel, you feel like Luke Skywalker looking in the cockpit of a spaceship. Everything is digitalized, you got bright colors, you got the big touch screen, and everything is tied together so that you really feel like a pilot and not like a driver. That's something I really like. Something really impressive at the 10th generation Honda Civic is its large trunk. It holds almost 500 liters of luggage, the biggest trunk in the compact segment. And it's not only big, it's also smart, because usually you have these big trunk covers that are always in your way when you load something. The Honda engineers invented something like a window blind and it's easy to pull out, to put it aside. You got all the space you want and if you're done with loading, you pull it out of its cassette again, clip it into and everything is done. That's something really smart. Honda is very proud of the safety level of the 10th generation Civic because they packed their compact car with all the driver assistance systems available and at least in Europe they are all standard. So you not only have adaptive cruise control and collision warning, you also have the lane keep assist and the blind spot assist, you got the rear view camera, you got a parking assist. There's probably no compact car that has more driver assistance systems as standard in Europe as the new Civic does. Thank you for joining me on my test drive with the new Honda Civic, the 10th generation of the most important car for Honda. It not only grew in size, it also grew in its character because it's offering way more room, a broad array of safety technologies, and some really clever details. 
You can't compare it with a Volkswagen Golf and a Ford Focus anymore, but you also can't compare it with a BMW 3 Series, an Audi A4 or a Mercedes C-Class, because to compare it with these premium cars, the interior quality is just too low. And I think that's the problem of the Honda Civic. It's not fish and it's not beef, but at the end, it's a perfect compromise. Thank you, tschüss and bye bye.